In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the next feature, the free form. The free form is your first step toward the complicated surface modeling. So now we created the dome here on that surface and we created a rub and they are quite uniform shaping. But what if you want to create your own shaping to the surface with some kind of curves? bubbles or whatever so just try to do this on that face by using the freeform tool go to the insert feature freeform so select first the face where you want to make your freeform and then you will need reference lines and points where you're going to make your deformation so first let's add the line you can add that line or curves by add curves they are control curves so if you move on your surface you will see that you are able to create this line if you flip the direction you will make the lines on the other side this direction let's make two lines and after creating your curves or lines you need points in order to be manipulating them so go to add points move over your lines but if you move in other lines you are not able to add any points just in your inserted curves so let's add a point here one point here and let's add one point here so when you are done you can go to the deactivate the point add points and now select your line if you click on that point you see three hours in these three hours you will be able to free move your points so here you make a deformation that side or on that side or make it upward so here we have your free deformation now let's move to the next point and by the same way you can make that deformation Now go to this line, so be sure that you are deactivating here and you are able to show the coordinating or controlling and so we got a mess here, so we so need some practicing to get your this chip so this tool is the tool showing you how you are able to deal with so when you are done click ok so you have just kind of experiment how you can deform your part so it's quite not logical but you can delete it so this is the idea how to use freeform and hope this tutorial is useful